The World Health Organization has declared the COVID-19 outbreak a pandemic. Everyone is vulnerable right now. No one has immunity. No one has been vaccinated. There are no approved treatments for the virus, and it's spreading worldwide. You cannot contain it and prevent it from arriving to Syracuse and Central New York. This is not to, to scare anybody. Romeo says it's to get people thinking seriously about how they can help slow the spread of the virus and keep enough hospital beds, doctors, and equipment available for those who need it most. That's why it's so important for everyone to follow the CDC's recommendations. Stay home if you're sick, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and avoid crowds, even if you don't see infections in your community. There's a lot we don't know about this virus yet, but here's a simple numerical example that Romeo came up with to illustrate how quickly it could spread. Assume one person gets infected with coronavirus. This person infects two other people. The initially infected person is then identified as sick and is immediately quarantined. The following day, the next two infected people in turn infect four others, are then identified, and are also immediately quarantined. Repeat this process with the mentioned infected persons for 14 consecutive days. The total number of new cases on the 14th day will be exponentially higher, with more than 16,000 people infected. All of these people now need to be identified and quarantined for two weeks. In total, more than 32,000 people could be infected from just one initial sick person. Romeu characterizes this as a very realistic example of the potential spread. 80%, 85% of those will have very mild or no symptoms and they will just stay home, take an aspirin perhaps, and that will be fine. The rest will need to seek medical help. A small percentage of those people will need intensive care. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, said the virus is 10 times more lethal than the seasonal flu. Without any sort of uh, containment, which is what happened, for example, in Wuhan, what happened in Italy, what perhaps has happened in the Washington state, somebody got sick here, was not detected, and started a chain infecting people. That happens in a very small period of time. So many people in such a small period of time overheats the health care system. Still, it's likely the illness's mortality rate is much lower than current projections. That's because there are probably many cases with mild symptoms or no symptoms that are going undetected. The only way to get a more accurate number is by randomly testing people, but that isn't happening right now. What we need is time. Slowing the spread buys us time to better understand the virus, come up with a vaccine, and bolster the infrastructure needed to care for the most susceptible people.